Rated T for Teen. When you think about a lot of the great historical wars, um, you'll find, okay, well, you know, the British were fighting the Americans in the American Revolution, and, uh, you know, the Russians were fighting the French, and um, all of these different battles don't take place in a vacuum. I mean, you think about World War I and World War II, where all these other nations got dragged in. But in particular, a lot of the earlier wars involved smaller nations or tribes that would get sucked into the conflict. And a lot of the Revolutionary War was decided by who got the favor of which Native American tribe, and uh, also who got the French on their side at different points in time. But one of the things that came out of this was the idea that we needed to introduce Native tribes into both single player and multiplayer campaigns. And what this means is the Native tribes occupy territories on the map. And in the, their territories, um, they build up a civilization. They're not initially particularly aggressive, but when you make contact with them, you have the opportunity to assimilate them. When you assimilate a native tribe, you essentially gain a trait that is inherent to that tribe. They give you bonuses to you, either your population, they, they give you the ability for your city centers to support more population, or they give your uh, infantry better bonuses in combat because they're, they're they're just better at fighting and so they teach you these skills uh, or they know ancient herbal remedies and so they can give your fortresses and your, your city centers the ability to heal your units more quickly. At the same time, you have an obligation to protect them. If they lose their city center, the tribe might go berserk and just go after whoever destroyed the city center, whether or not it's one of your uh, enemies. So it behooves you to ally with as many of them as you can because it's not just about getting that territory on your side. You could do that by simply wiping them out. It's about having an ally fighting with you and getting the bonuses and, and the advantages that their civilization brings to the table. There's three different ways that native tribes can interact with you. There's sort of the independent native tribe, which you know will defend itself and exist somewhat in coexistence with you. Um, then there's the assimilated native tribe, which is one you've made the proper offers to. And then there's the berserk native tribe. If you go in and you destroy their city center, they will just throw everything else down and come at you and they will beat your ass if they can. One of the cool things about the native tribes in Empire Earth to the Art of Supremacy is that uh, they'll help you out militarily, um, but at the same time, you can use them as valuable trading partners. So. The economy in Empire Earth 2 is a very rich and dynamic system, and it's something where if all you do is harvest resources, you're at a, a disadvantage. Um, you can trade within your own civilization, but you get much greater advantages trading between civilizations. Uh, by having these allies that you can send trading carts and trading ships to, um, you can really give your economy a giant boost.